M0 FXP. We're just going to scroll through the um, FT70 manual. So I'm, I'm looking across at my computer, so if I look away it's because it's I'm reading. So there's your contents. Introduction. And there you are, you get to the, uh, the display and the different names of the controls. It's important when you first turn it on to um, get your call sign in there, otherwise it won't work on C4FM. Uh, it is a dual band radio, um, but only, sing only single receive. Yeah, the volume on the radio is um, its probably the most fiddliest part of the whole thing, and that is you hold the left button here above the on off button and then you turn which is a bit annoying but that's the way it is so the squelch you press the let's get it right you press the F key got to remember I think you push the F key and then let's get it right Oops, F, and then the button beneath the PTT, and then you can uh, adjust the squelch. I'll just see what happens when I push that button. See that, the, if you push the button beneath the PTT just on its own, look, you get the input. So uh, there you go. Um, so, just reading through. Obviously, that's your PTT. That's obvious. Um, okay. Yeah, in the side. Your DC goes in there, your speaker mic goes in there, and it works quite well, but the speaker on this, on the FT70, is excellent. Antenna connection. I mean, this dial knob is really good. It's really chunky. I really like the dial knob. And then, see the VM button here? So that's VFO, VFO memory. If you're, I'll just say it now, although we'll come to it later. If you're on your hot pot, hot spot frequency, let's say we're on the DV Mega, and you want to connect to that hot spot once you've set up the hot spot, put the correct frequency in, you literally just press, um, pretty sure it's F AMS. See that is trying to connect to wires X don't think it will because I don't think it's set up for it uh, but if it doesn't connect it will just default back so I just scroll through and the idea is that you can now just um, you know w watch this video look at the PDF and the radio all at the same time so here's your icons what they mean on this on the display screen put that back into VFO A lot of the a lot of the functions are on these front buttons, you know, like the shift and the tone squelch. Yeah, the battery on these isn't that great, and don't leave it in the charger because if you do and the charger's turned off, it'll go flat. Yeah, power settings, quite good on this. Just F, and then look, F number one. F number one, it changes the power. <clears throat> You've got a dual watch function, now that's good. Uh, that's worth turning on. So what it will do, it will momentarily flick to another memory channel. 
<coughs> but it does it so fast, it's like having jaw band. <coughs> so it does have FM, AM. And it does have, um, let's just keep going past, that's the safety stuff. Yeah, taking the, putting the battery in and taking it out. I'll do it, it's not too fiddly. Uh, if I remember right, not very often I take this out. Oh yeah, so you uh, clip that gray part and then push there and push the bottom in it. It's a bit fiddly with this thing and then it lifts out and then the, the reverse. Clip it back in, put it back into lock, and you're back on. <coughs> Charging. Yeah, so the the DC charger that's in the box with the radio um, plugs into the, the, the charging dock that you can buy, and they're only £20. <coughs> so that's quite useful. Um, what else? Yeah, turning it on, that's the bottom button here. Turning it on at the bottom. That's that one. We've done the squelch. Now frequency, obviously in VM, in VFO mode, let you just turn as usual. You've got the button here to select different bands. Top right says band, next to number three. Um, I'm not, I can't remember if you can type it in, but I think you can. So one, yeah, one, four, five, five, hundred. So look, that's, you can type in the frequency. If you look at all the little orange writing on the, above each button, it, many of the functions you're gonna need are in there. Just Tap the F first. When the F is on the screen, you know you, that you, you're there in use. Uh, there is a big menu if you hold down the F button. Like this, and it's actually, a, when I say big, um, it's not too bad. There's about 60 in there, but no, 50 of them you'll never use. Um, there you go. So, and GM group mode is for when you're on wires X. When you when you hit that, it's quite good. I mean, try it out. It really, it needs a separate video for that. <clears throat> so just keep going through. Yeah, we've done the power. Oh yeah, you can actually program. There's programmable keys. You can you can decide what they are, and that are keys number seven and number eight. Um, so I'm pretty sure the way you do it is you hold down the F, choose something that you're going to use quite often. Let's just choose lamp, and then hit um, number seven. They are program one key. So now if I come out of that and I go F7, it takes me to the lamp setting. You get the idea. And it does it with number eight button as well. <coughs> so what's, uh, let's go back up. So I, uh, no, I've never used DGID, so I don't actually know what that is. I'm sure it's good. Group mode for D-Star. Oh, oh yeah, you do have memory groups in here. So if we go to memory mode, if you hit the band button, you go into your groups. It's a, it's a bit confusing, but each group, yeah, when you hit memory, each group has, you know, has preset, I think it's 15 
per group. So to change groups or to go into group mode, you hit band. So when I hit it again then, we went back into me normal, the memory <coughs> mode. We're in memory mode now. But if I wanted to change group, you hit band and scroll backwards. And you can actually create a group. So it's a bit confusing, but that is what you do. So when, it, when you hit band and it says memory, you're in normal memory mode. Now that's my uh, local repeater, which is about 20 miles away, and this rubber duck is picking it up. So it's not bad, is it? Obviously a hotspot, it will pick it up, end stop. I'll see if I can get the hotspot on. I'll uh, just see, I'll just check on everything's recording okay. Yeah, it seems okay. So my hotspot... I will be on, it'll be on my open spot. If I can find it quick. Um, nah. I'm going to have to search that. But no, we'll look at that another time. So, um, keep scrolling down. Yeah, so you've got all your re repeater shift, CTSS tones, all that's in there. And yeah, it explains about the memory banks. It needs a good read because it can be quite confusing. I have done a separate video on memory banks. Turn it down a bit. So, yeah, memory channel. So memory on this thing. So if you're in VFO mode, let's just say that's your memory. You hold it in, VM, and then select the memory channel you want it to be on. Memory write, that means if it says that, it means you've already got something on that channel. Hit it, and then now it's going to let you name it. So A, and then hit the band to go across. And then when you're done, hold down the VM button. And when you go back to VM, it will be there. That's the memory channel. Changing memories. Yeah. Setting the receive operation when scanning stops. So well, my memory is that scanning is on one of these shortcuts. Yeah, number two. So you just go F2 and it just starts to scan and then when you stop just put just do that seems fine to me you say yeah this dual watch feature that's really cool because you can it, it's almost like making it dual band so let's just see if there's a, is a shortcut on the front see that see the vm button above it it says dw for dual watch so um, what you do is you hit the f and then you hit vm and it goes into dual watch mode uh, but i think you do have to set up uh, what it's going to be watching first so let's go f yeah, it needs to be set up first. But I don't. I'll have to do a video just on dual watch. Um, but it, what it do? Let's say you've got it on two repeaters on different frequencies. Once you've selected dual watch, if there's nothing being received, then um, if there's nothing being received, um, then it will keep looking at that other frequency. So, yeah, we said about the wires X. Function, squelch, set mode. Yeah, you could do a full reset. So read that page on how to do a full reset, but you can do it. 
read this one for all your general coverage. And that's it, and then it just ends with some safety stuff. So it's a great transceiver. You can pick them up for uh, 170 new, about 120 second hand, um, and pure joy to use, very good reception, very good audio reports. One of the best speakers on the market in a handheld, and it's a very nice looking handheld. And the actual design is very similar to the new FT3, and that is um, 400 pound. Uh, and the case is virtually the same, if you ask me. Yeah, it's a different screen. But the upside to the 70 is you get the keypad, which you don't get on the FT3. So check it out. I think it's a great radio and highly recommended. M0FXB73. Please subscribe.